Sports Cards Analysis, I'm JT with another Case Break Simulation. Today we got everything you need to know to get into a break with 2023 Panini Prism Football. This is going to be everything, if you haven't watched my videos before, it's going to be everything about team breaks, player breaks, anything you need to know about investing, return on investment, getting into breaks, and what you need to know about 2023 Panini Prism Football. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you a ton of stuff, ton of information, all data, uh, driven analysis everything that i do is for you and it's for free a little disclaimer here uh, i don't ask for anything when you hit using my analysis so please don't ask me to compensate you when you don't hit i'm going to give you information i'll do the best i can and hopefully you hit but sometimes you don't here's a couple examples of the cards you can get now one note that the colors uh splash they're uh a bunch of individual players but they're adding in a, a dual player color splash and I have a huge problem with that because dual player cards typically hurt the value um, I hope to do a video on the on analyzing that someday but not right now Panini was super late on getting this checklist out so here's the analysis Steel City has this these cases for ten thousand four hundred and forty nine dollars I mean we're approaching like crazy prices like tops transcendent prices I know you get like way more cards in this product but that price is insane the reason why I'm telling you the case price is because what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you the ideal price per team for each team in a team break uh, based on the distribution of that price across all the cards. So we'll, that equates to you paying for probability of getting a hit. So if we focus on just the autographs, we want to uh, look at the price per team by the total number of autos and what we're doing here is we're distributing the cost of the case that ten thousand dollars across every autograph in this set equally so a few cents per card i know that's not the value of it but that should tell you instead of paying for the value that you think you're going to get back what is the probability that you're going to walk away with the most cards so are you looking to get a hit are you looking to get an autograph well the raiders are the top team they have the most autographs total number of autographs they have three thousand seventy seven now I will say that with this product, there are some assumptions I'm making. Some print runs aren't listed in the checklist, so I made an assumption, but I made that assumption equally across all the teams. So if the Panini Prism silver autographs, which aren't numbered, are out of a certain number, I did that equally for all the teams. So there should be no, so even if I'm wrong, basically, I'm wrong equally across all the teams. So this is still correct. So if you want to pay for the highest probability of hitting an autograph, pay for the Raiders and you'd pay just under 500 bucks. These teams are going to be super duper expensive, but this is this will give you the highest chance of getting an autograph hit. That doesn't mean they're the most valuable, but that means that you'll have the best chance. So as far as paying for autographs, here's your list 1 through 10, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, and then we start getting into the end of that list there with 32. So that's by autograph. Now, there are, I'm not going to tell you the price by insert cards. There's some great inserts in here, Color Splash and Manja included. There's also um, tons and tons of non auto parallels. But let's look at the total cards by team. The Cowboys have the most cards in this product. And if you want to pay not just for the pro probability of hitting an autograph, but instead the probability that you're going to walk away from a break with the most cards, then you want to buy the Cowboys and you want to pay, again, just under $500. So this is the price field for whether or not you want to pay for the probability of hitting the most cards, autos, inserts, parallels, everything. There's 1 through 10. There's 10 through, uh, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, and then the last two teams there. Now, you probably don't want to do that because you want to pay for the value of the cards. So what I've done is I've, I've assigned a value to every single card in this set. Every single player that I can find an autograph for, I assign a value for their autographs in Panini Prism 2023 football. Once I do that, I built a simulator that simulates breaking 200 cases of this product. Once I've done with that, I add, up, add it all up and then average out the ROI, which I'll get to. But I also tier all the players by how profitable I think their cards are going to be. So a five, a player falling in a five category would be you're going to sell that card and you're going to make a lot of profit. You know, the Tom Brady's. The fours, those are going to be you're probably going to make a profit. Maybe it'll take a little longer to sell, but you'll make a profit on that card. Three is your break even point. Then you might sell at a loss. And the ones, the guys that fall into a one, which there usually aren't too many, they're not going to sell at all or they're going to sit on your shelf for a long, long time collecting dust before you finally sell it. 
and the distribution of players in this product by that scale, there's very few ones. There's a lot of twos in this. That's typical with Panini, a lot of twos. You know, in tops, you kind of see like two to three, three usually being higher. With Panini, it's usually in the twos. We do have some fours and fives in this product, so not a terrible product, but overall with the autograph checklist only, we're looking at about a 2.8 out of five. And we're actually looking at a lower score overall with the non, with autographs and parallels inserts included, 2.6 out of five. That's, um, that might seem low and it is, it's, it's pretty low, um, honestly. But when you look at Prism, that's kind of the scores that it gets. Prism likes to, it's kind of like the top series one. They include as many players as possible, just in case one of those guys does wind up having a great season or, you know, a second year season or they have a breakout uh, season a couple years from now and they become superstars. So they include a lot of guys that don't have a lot of value up front and might have value later. It's hard to predict a lot of these guys. So let's look at ROI over 200 cases. So I, again, I run 200 case break simulations. I add them up and I divide that number by 200. I add up the ROI. And by far over 200 cases, the, the Chiefs have the highest ROI. Now I will say that when I looked at the results, I got both a color blast and a manja hit for, for Patrick Mahomes. And so that does inflate these prices a little bit. If we take that down a little bit, you know, maybe it kind of falls within the in this $250 range for ROI. But there was good hits and I don't mess with the data because I don't want you to think that I'm cheating the system to put it in favor of a certain team. This is literally 200 like randomized simulations. These simulations are based on the hobby box configurations over the course of a case. And I run it 200 times. If this is the results that we get, those are the results that we get. I'm not going to mess with it. So yes, the Chiefs give the highest ROI. The Bengals every time just seem to always just keep producing. Cincinnati has been coming up even in the baseball videos a lot with a lot of really um, top tier uh, returns. So Here's your one through 10 on this. And now if you don't know what the full product strength is or any of the product strengths on each of these checklists, essentially that is teams with high value uh, players and high print runs. Now I know you're thinking the opposite. A one of one is better than a one of 199. That's true. But when we're talking about breaks, you wanna give yourself the best chance to hit in a break. So this product strength, this autograph here for the Falcons means it has the most high value players and the highest print run. So even though the Chiefs fall at 31 out of 32, they do have a lot of high value players, but guess what? Super duper low print runs. So you're not gonna find as many cards for the Chiefs as you will for other teams like the Falcons. Uh, but when they hit, they hit big. So that's kind of what the product strength is. So here's one through 10 for 200 case breaks. On average, this is the ROI. So if you're paying for a team and you're in this range, now that's, that doesn't mean that sometimes you're gonna make thousands, sometimes you're gonna make almost nothing, but this is right there in the middle at the average. So keep that in mind. If you, if you buy the Cowboys, expect you know somewhere around the 184 range, over 200 cases, obviously. So you know don't get carried away with these prices. Some of these breaker prices are freaking insane. So keep that in mind there, that's one through 10, and that's each page. Take screenshots and use this when you make your purchases, use that ROI. Now you're probably thinking, I don't care about 200 cases. I just want to know when my team hits, what's my ROI and how often can I expect it? Well, this is the table for you. This is my probably my favorite table in this whole in this whole video. We can read this table by saying that this team and hit type, so Jaguars autographs, hits in this many cases over 200 case breaks. In 200 case break simulations, there were 67 times where Jaguars autographs appeared. And when they did, the ROI, the average ROI over those 67 cases was $636. So you're looking at some pretty good high value players, some really low print run cards. You know, they're, they're kind of rare, maybe one every, every four cases, but that's what you can expect out of Jaguars. Now, if we kind of go down here and we look at the Cowboys, over 100 cases. So more than half the time, there was a Cowboys autograph. So pick the Cowboys, and for every two cases, you'll probably hit a Cowboys autograph. Remember, there's 24 autographs, I believe, in each case. So the odds of getting a team are pretty good. I mean, look at this. Over, over half the time for all these teams and just about half the time, even for the 49ers. So that's how we're going to read this table. I'm going to go through a few pages. You just look at the team, the hit type, which is auto, parallel, insert, uh, or base. 
the number of cases that hit type happened and then the price that you can expect in return on your ROI. So there you go there, there's one through 10. And we're looking at like 148. So on three fourths of the cases, line, there are lines autographed. So if you buy the lines, I mean, you're looking at hitting, you're looking at hitting pretty good. There's page three, there's page four, page five. Where are the Raiders at? I don't even know if I've seen them yet. Uh, page six, page seven, eight, take screenshots, use this information, nine, 10, and we'll just go through all of them, I guess, 11, 12, and 13. So there's all the teams and the odds that you can expect from, you know, see that you don't get a lot of ROI out of those base cards, but man, do you get them out of the, um, out of the autographs? I'm just looking for the Raiders. Okay. So the Raiders were about three quarters of the time. So yeah, cause they have the most autographs I think in this product. So there you go. I just wanted to point that out. Now, what about the set types? When you pull a card, how do you know if it's actually rare? How do you know if it's a good card to hit? Well, what I've done, I so that when you can list your cards on eBay or check out my cards, you know that, okay, if you get the Franchise Legend Signature Prism Black Finite, well, in 200 cases, it only appeared one time, and the ROI was about that much. So that should tell you everything you need to know about how rare some of these sets are. So just go through this. These are the sets. This is the ROI, and this is how frequently it hits in 200 cases. So I'm just going to go slowly through this, and you can take screenshots. That way, when you... Uh, look like Manja Vertical only came in five cases. That's really low out of 200. So that way, when you get these hits, you can go on Color Blast. There was 23 Color Blasts. That's one eighth of the time. So in every eight cases, you'll get a Color Blast. And that price is probably pretty low, um, but that's just based on the data. So I don't know why it would be at that price. Maybe there's some, some rookies that don't have a lot of data yet. So we'll just go through one more page so you can look at this and see, okay, if I get Rookie Autograph Prism Blue Shimmer, I know that it happens, you know, kind of frequently, less than less than three eighths of the time, less than half, but uh, but not bad. So about 40 bucks per card. So that's what you can list those for on eBay, Fireworks Prism Gold, look at that, 40 cases. So there you go. That's kind of what that means. Now, let's look at the master checklist for players, by players, by team. So like I mentioned before, you know, the Chiefs, they have, uh, whoops, they have uh, a high ROI, but not a lot of cards. That, so you got like this guy here and Sky Moore, Nick Bolton. So before you even get to a player that has like a recognizable name and Tony uh, or Tony, I don't even know how it's pronounced. You know, you're looking at 600, 265 autographs, but you're leaving like a thousand on the table here with these first three guys that probably have a low value the strength of the the strength that they're adding to the chief's checklist isn't very high you know and then you got some guys in here travis kelsey well he doesn't have any autographs so that's great mahomes doesn't have any autographs in this so the mahomes we got were just color blast and manja and a couple other insert cards but because if you look the total number of inserts for patrick mahomes is over a thousand so that's just by autograph by player that's just for the chiefs you know we can go into other teams we can look at the Bengals and see that they have, you know, what is this like um, thousand, maybe like 1500 autographs uh, for the Bengals alone and kind of with these players. So Joe Burrow has 200. So you get a lot of value there when you get the veterans that are starting to get involved. So I'll go through a few pages here. Mike Allstott has, this is the sorted by how many autograph cards per player. So we'll just go through a few pages there. Uh, there's page two, there's page three. Remember this highlighted one is the autographs. Well, the rookies are going to have a ton of autographs in this set. So that's just kind of how it is. But there are veterans that did sign for this. So, you know, Steve Young, he got 335 autographs. Again, remember, I did make some assumptions. So sometimes it might be wrong, but it's equally wrong when it is wrong. So there you go. There's a uh, 11 pages worth of information for you. If you want to use that, please do. Total number of cards per team. Here you go. One through 10. I'm not, I already covered this really. So I'm not going to go too much into it, but there's page one, page two, Page three, take screenshots, use it. Now, if you're chasing one of ones, guess what? There's almost 1,500 one of ones. That's about average for Panini. I've seen, I saw one recently that was 3,000. Uh, I think that was National Treasures Baseball. So keep that in mind, uh, 1,500 one of ones. And if you are looking for one of ones, it's this first column here, buy one of these 10 teams. They have the most one of ones, okay? Now the simulation results. I run 200 simulations. I gave you some of the ROI results, but do you want to see what kind of, hits I'm getting. Well, here's just case number 200. I didn't get any one of ones, 
but I did get a few one of threes. And here's the type of quality that you can expect from that. Some of them being autographs, some of them just parallels. So there you go on that. Uh, let's just go through that first page there. So that's kind of the quality of the you know top 20 cards you get in a case. There's some really good veterans. There's some really bad rookies. That's just how it is. Now for all 200 cases, let's see how many one of ones I got. I got 328 one of ones. That's like way more than normal. So more than one per case. That's crazy, even though some cases don't have any. So you can expect if you get a one of one that there might be a couple one of ones in some of these cases. So that, I mean, geez, that's a ton of one. That's the most I've ever seen in the simulation. So there you go, out of the one of ones. Now, I, I tell you the ROI is high for one team, but let's just look at across 20 different breaks. So the first 20 breaks that I do out of 200, let's just look at the distribution. The bars are the amount of ROI per team. And let's just look at how that's distributed for each team in the first 20 breaks, because it's not always the Chiefs. It's not always the Steelers. Sometimes it's the Jaguars, the Packers, the Bears. So there you go. So this is over 20 cases. You can kind of get a good idea, take screenshots and look at these charts and get a good idea of how frequently the team you want to pick, the team you want to buy in a break, hits a very high value because sometimes they're super low. The Browns are low here, but they're high here. So you are taking a risk. Keep that in mind. You don't always hit. You don't always get a huge return. But there are teams here that you can buy to assure yourself that you'll at least get something back. So there you go. That's over the first 20 cases. I'll just go through the rest of that here. And then we'll start talking about the other simulation results. Like how many cards per team did I get for 200 case breaks? Well, I got the Cowboys the most. That kind of mirrors what the actual checklist has. So this is, of course, for 200 case breaks. For cards by team, that's all cards, inserts, parallels, autographs, everything. And that's the first 20 there. Now we want to look at print runs. I did get like 300 something uh, one of ones. And if you want to know which one to buy for yourself, I would buy the Cowboys because they gave me 21 or even the Lions had 19. So here's the top like 10 or 20 for one of ones. It's this first column here of what actually was returned in the 200 case break simulations. Then we have by card type. OK, this is the last table. So for autographs, I got the most Lions, then Raiders, Eagles, Colts, Titans, Seahawks, Vikings. And you can read the rest. I'll move this up so you can see it all. And uh, that is for autographs. If you're really chasing like the insert cards, well, go buy the Falcons because you're going to get a ton of Falcons over, over 200 more than the team below it, the Cowboys. So there's one through 20 for insert cards. And then for parallels, they're going to mirror the base in some ways. Uh, and so there you go. There's the top 20 there. That's 2023 Panini Prism Football. Huge product. Very expensive. Enjoy your breaks. Good luck. I hope you guys hit big and you make a huge profit. Bye.